simple ways that you can transform a vintage old antique teacup into something that you can use. Since it is starting to feel like spring finally in Canada, uh, the birds are starting to come back because it's not freezing cold out, I decided to make a bird feeder for your garden. And also I turned a teacup into a cute little candle. And it's a no wax candle, which was really fun and easy and cheap to make. So let me show you how I did those two DIYs. Starting with our candle, you'll need a teacup, obviously. I'm using vegetable shortening instead of wax. Some essential oil for some scent. Also, I used some tea for scent, scissors, string, and a wooden skewer. I also grabbed a little metal washer here, and I'm tying that to the end of my string for my wick so that it will be weighted down when we put it in the candle. So you can set that aside and move over to the stove with your vegetable shortening that you can just pick up at the grocery store. I'm melting it down here, and then I added a bag of tea because it's a teacup and I thought that the scent would be a nice little added scent for my candle I have some vanilla essential oil as well to add some scent to the candle once that's all melted down you can go ahead and put it into your teacup so I'm putting my wick in now which is just a string with that washer on the end as you can see that helps weigh it down to the bottom Then wrap the rest of the string around uh, just a wooden skewer even a pen or pencil will work for this and that's just to hold it in place and center it once it's all dry you can just cut the wick off and your candle's done. For our bird feeder, you'll need a teacup and saucer. I've got an old necklace here. You can just grab a chain as well. Some tape and some E6000 glue. So essentially, we're just gluing the cup to the saucer. You want to make sure that you're gluing this so that the handle is facing up. That way we have something to hang the bird feeder with when we're all done. And also when you're placing this on the plate, try and make it as center as possible. Mine was a little bit off balance just the way that I did it. So once you've glued that into place, you're going to want to tape it down. This glue does take a while to set. So I'm just taping it into place so that the cup doesn't move around while that glue is setting. It's going to need to sit overnight. So once it's all taped in place and you've let it sit, 24 hours later this is what we have the cup is standing up on its own I did reinforce it a little bit so you can go ahead and grab that chain or necklace and hang it up outside of how you can transform teacups into something useful um, or you could just drink tea out of them <laughs> if you don't have teacups to use already maybe uh, you, you didn't get any from your grandmother like I did you can go to the thrift store and find them pretty much anywhere they're really cheap as well the one that I turned into a bird feeder was actually from the thrift store because I didn't want to use the one that my grandmother had passed down to me just in case it gets broken outside due to the weather so have some fun with those DIYs uh, let me know what they look like. Uh, send me some photos. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Janelle Steeper. And then use the hashtag 2DIY4 if you're going to tag me in any of those photos. Feel free to leave any comments below of things that you'd like to see me try in the future. I love taking suggestions. And subscribe if you haven't already because I don't want you to miss a video. Next Wednesday I'll be back with a new DIY. Cheers. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh, my eyeball. <sighs> what is that word I'm looking for? Inherited? Keepsake? Okay.